Put two to jumping jack, punch, jumping jack, punch. Double arm swing to shoulder press. So two dumbbells in your hands. You're going to swing them behind you, then come up and press. Swing, press. about shoulder width apart, back, you want your shoulders back, and you're going to raise the weights up to the side, shoulder height, and then back down, shoulder height, in a controlled, slow movement, don't rush it, and don't swing the dumbbells all the way up here. You want your palms facing out, rest your elbows right on your stomach, and then you're going to come all the way up, touch at the top, and then all the way back down. Up and around, and back to back. Wide and high, bent over, rear down pole. So you're going to bend all the way over, and you're going to drive the weights up in a wide, very wide position and high up, meaning that they should be kind of like by your shoulders as opposed to under. So you're gonna bring them up. So open them up nice and wide, and bring them up high. Seated rear delts. So you're going to sit down, weights in your hands, you want to bend over, and then you're just going to drive the weights behind you. This will work the back of your shoulder. So kind of like a little swinging motion. Stop right here, underneath your knees, and swing back. Upward chop. So you're going to hold the weights by the ends. Stand about shoulder, uh, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna bring the weight down to the top and then drive it straight up overhead. So down, straight up overhead. Make sure you keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze those glutes as you come up. So, just going to hop on one side, drive those knees in three times. And then you'll go to the other side. One, two, three. Switch over. One, two, three. So you're kind of gonna travel just a little bit. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Just imagine kind of bringing your knees and your hands together and then just hopping with the other leg. One, two, three. Switch. One, two, three. Hop 
and twist. So you want to get down on your hands. What you want to do is you want to hop your body straight up, and then you're just going to drop your hip all the way down. Hop straight up, and then drop your hip all the way down. Burpee kick through. So you're going to jump up, drop down, kick your leg out, kick through. Drop down, kick through on the other side. chest, knees bent, you're going to come up, twist, up, twist to the other side. Alternating curl ups, so you're going to lie down on your mat, you want your knees bent, hands behind your head, you're going to bring one knee up and you're going to join it with your opposite elbow and then you'll alternate. So it looks like this. Make sure to press that back into the floor. Don't allow your back to arch. And keep those abs nice and tight. Mermaid flutters. So you wanna lay down on your side. You'll be propped up on your Elbow here, you want your arm straight up, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring both your legs up and down, kind of like a mermaid. Make sure you do the same on the other side. Side tucks. So you're going to lean on your side, hand behind your head, and you're going to raise your legs up and drive your elbow in and then out. So in and out. To modify, you can come all the way down, raise your legs up and just bicycle. But otherwise, you'll stay up here and you'll tuck in. Tuck and extend. Make sure you do the same amount on the other side. So you're going to twist your torso and you want to hold your knee, place one arm around your knee, the other one can either be on the floor or you can just leave it up. You want to extend your other leg and drive it in toward your chest, in and out, all while keeping your torso twisted. So for a little bit of assistance with balance, you'll place your hand on the floor. And then you'll do the same amount on the other side. Kettlebell side bend. Hold the kettlebell with one arm, and then you're just going to bend to your side. Go as far to your side as you can, so you get that nice stretch in your obliques. Make sure you do the same amount on the other side. Sit up, reverse bridge. So you want your knees bent, hands straight behind your head. You're going to come up into a sit up, place your hands down on the ground, and then come up into a reverse, uh, reverse bridge. those glutes when you come up into that bridge.
kicks. So you're gonna lay down on your stomach. You can rest your head on your uh, hands. You're gonna lift your legs, and then you're gonna flutter. Up and down. Twist with arm extension. So you wanna hold the horns of the kettlebell, which are like the sides of the kettlebell. You're gonna turn it upside down. Feet together, and then you're gonna turn to the side and twist and kind of like um, extend your arm out and hit the kettlebell out. Twist and extend out. Extend. Twist and extend your arm. 